everyone, welcome back. My name is Fizz. How's everyone doing today? We are back on tips and tricks on how to raise and lower ceilings in Arc Survival Evolved. Now, this can be a very challenging technique, but if you follow along, this is a very easy way of showing you guys how this actually works. You can use this to have half ceilings for having half walls, and yeah, not modded. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, and uh, hopefully you learn a thing or two. Alrighty, so this technique, like I said, is a little bit hard, but if you know where you want it and know how to do it, it's actually quite easy. So let's start off with, I want to, for instance, maybe have a house that is like some, some like right here, basically. So pretend this is my house and I wanted to raise this floor up by one. What I, what you normally would do, you know, is probably have like a ceiling or some sort of um, connection post or something like that to have it up a little higher and then have like a ramp like you would do something like this basically to have it higher what happens if you don't want it that high you just want it up a little bit it's actually a very simple technique so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves a pillar and basically what we're gonna do is grab any pillar you want and we're just gonna basically snap it to the ceiling now as you tell as of right now this pillar just added a new snap point which is kind of you know everyone knows about the snap point and it's literally the snap point of let me grab uh, some more metal ceilings the snap point allows you to snap like that so now what you could do is if you wanted this section to be up a little bit higher you could do something like this so now we have just made a step up to the direction now there's a problem why would you want to do this now this is kind of complicated because most people would do this to get rid of nubs and you would basically do something like this basically on that and I've said in the past to not do that because sometimes it gets a little funky well what you're gonna need to do if you want to have this building precisely the same level in the same areas is you're actually gonna need to extend this part out underneath the same level as the base floor and the reason why is when you do something like this for instance for walls in the side you're going to be snapping to the tippity top but then you're also gonna have a problem with snapping on the bottom if this building is too tall and don't you want to have the same walls to be the same height right so to do that is something like that so now I'm now snapping to the same white same height and same height like the same level and you know if you're making a house that's generally like three or four hot tall it doesn't really matter on that like if it's uh if they're if you're snapping two walls within each other so right now we're snapping we're snapping uh two walls so here's one wall and then here's another one now this is good and all all right we know how to do all that but what happens if i actually want to make this taller well it's actually quite simple so right now we have this extending out by one so this is only going up by one to add another layer you basically just add another pillar and now we just made it even taller you do the exact same thing you want to add a wall instead of there you destroy this wall first and you put that and I accidentally destroy that we'll just pretend that was there so now we have just made another step now obviously this one's a little bit harder to step up you actually cannot step up on this one so be wise of how high you want to do it and technically you can actually do this continuously if you want to keep going now the problem about doing this continuously is that there's a point where sometimes there will be too many pillars snap to each other like this and it's gonna give me it's gonna be a very hard time for me to snap another one and see how it just did it made me snap this one super high which if you look at this this is actually the same height as that almost it's just a little bit higher so it's more of I would say it's more of playing around with what the height you want. I say generally you can only go up three with a one pillar. And if you want to go start a next section, I would do is go to the side, start snap a new pillar to the side like so, like this, and then continue going up very slowly. Because if you try to do it on one, it gets really hectic really quickly, as you can tell. And then I can now snap, start snapping more pillars like that and vice versa. Now. As you can tell, doing it this technique way, there's so many new levels of layers that you could do with snapping different ceilings. So now basically what you could do is you can have a build that's starting off on here, but then if you want to have some sort of half wall, huh? if you want to have a half wall that's something like this, 
and have a whole new floor of, you know, a, like a build or something, you can do that now. And, you know, it's, this is a very old technique. You know, it's like super old. Let's, let's not even be talking about how old this technique is. I mean, it's, it's literally really, really old. The only reason why I'm starting to use it now is because no collision is very easy to use and very efficient to use. And, you know, it allows you to build different things. And people asked how I did it. So there you go. That's how you do it. That's literally how you do it. It's pretty simple. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment, you name it. Please tell me in the comments down below if you have any questions about this, because I know this could be a little bit difficult at some times, but it's very easy if you play around and experiment on how this works. And as well as YouTube's doing a little drama thing, so sharing this will help me a lot, because it's probably going to get flagged, because that's what's happening every single time now. Um, but yeah, so here's some examples as well. Um as what I'm building right now, my modern base. You can go check that out in the top right as well if you want to go check out how I've been using the technique on my modern house. So anyways, that's it. Love you all, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, and have a good one.